Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our perma death run with Ron the Snake. A man who has tried to escape his old pass uh, and go to Skyrim by fleeing his past as a criminal but he ended up being a criminal again and now joins the dark brotherhood we're on a quest for some more kills today we got some special menu uh, which is namely a werewolf and a couple of vampires afterwards i think what we're going to do is continuing the quest line and then upgrading our gear which will bring us to sol uh, tholstein so there are a couple of really interesting uh, quests the first thing today is that we're going to get away with well, murder heron here what have we here a last little lamb well then you won't be leaving here alive hey. <laughs> There's his companion, which we do not want to fight immediately. Run, run, run for now. Close one. I did have silver uh, bolts, but not a silver weapon, which may or may not have been a good idea. But we got two vampires down. That's for sure an accomplishment. And we did not contact uh, with a vampire. Uh, with a vampire disease I need matter of fact all of those to be honest cool well we could have just attacked him but killing him in plain daylight will not get us any bounty and instead we will be rewarded with a few items what exactly are we dealing with nothing i thought there was something in here well too bad His long-lasting partner in crime and him are running this mill and in reality we were looking at vampires. So you didn't want to come here during night because that is what would have happened. Bloody Rex. Good. Still doesn't tell me where the big fat chest is but okay, whatever. I'll accept it. Good. No chest, nothing but two vampires down. Which means we now need to go to Morthal. Next stop is going to be there. And we are at our next location, the Moor Side Inn, where Lubok, the tone deaf bard, took a bolt to the, uh, to the back. No one saw anything coming. Very unfortunate for him. Well, see you guys later. I don't want to go to prison again. But I'll take the Nern route. Good, we could uh, theoretically take another, uh, take on another vampire. There is a nice vampire quest here. But I think I'm okay with vampires for now. Let's send in the quests. 
There we go. Before we even come in, Astrid already is unhappy about the situation. Of course, Astrid, what is it? What is it? Something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. True. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? All right, done deal. We can do exactly that, but I would like to get paid first. Will there... Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and your payment, as per the usual. Five hundred. Wow, that's good. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Go on. Okay, uh, so just double checking, we have not contact, uh, contracted anything. And now we are off to Avon well, Root. Uh, the question is, should we go there first or should we actually get some equipment first? Hmm. We will get the main target, like the Emperor, from uh, von, uh, von Rund. And that will set a lot of things in motion. I mean, we can... It doesn't hurt to at least speak with him, I suppose. And we'll get a sense for how good we can deal with the Draugr. I will get a Silver Sword, just in case. And... If I find nothing, we'll take the axe from the Dawn Guard just so that we do have a weapon to deal with undeads more effectively. So let me take care of that. And uh, Amont is the next target. Okay, we arrived. Time to be cautious and careful. This here is an extra small dungeon. Oh, come on. Mud crabs, really. Good. Again, we gotta be careful here. There are a lot of archers. And a tricks, apparently. Well, you guys shouldn't just run in one by uh, one after the other by themselves. Oh, they had elven arrows, so that would have hurt if we would have been hit by them. couple of decent items but I don't have the carry capacity to do all of that there's a unique one-handed weapon which one couldn't get out of here called bouncer very nice weapon and speaking about that I didn't even have the basic stuff up I like our crossbow. Oh, 
All right, a couple of them down. There's Ron. Ron is the owner of Bouncer. And Ron is giving us a hard time. Just double checking, is our weapon poison? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. That was a direct hit. Okay, Ron, my friend, you are a menace. Let's heal up. Let him waste some time. We just gotta get uh, back on business. Ron is uh, taking quite some damage, but his shock arrows, holy, holy crap, they are hitting hard. Good, there we go, Bouncer, nice weapon. Might be able to sell it. He had even more of those arrows, 15 steel arrows. And a full plate. Nice hunting bow as well. Well, Ron certainly is a very special encounter. You can rush him at the beginning if you feel adventurous. Raise that, that is helpful. That can come in handy. Oh wow, that is a fantastic staff. Let's just double check the staff. Am I really seeing ice wind here? Oh, it's the normal small ice wind. I was for some reason thinking ice or well that one great staff, but we don't really need it. Some extra skill books and this is what we came here for. Iron War X. What exactly is that enchantment? Interesting enchantment, but we're not going to be a huge enchanter. Smithing maybe, enchanting likely not. I rather take uh, hunted weapons. Okay, so far so good. Let's go on to the next stop. Okay, fantastic. Wallenrund. Wallenrud. But we already see a very welcoming place here. Nordic Battle Axe. Oh! I was nowhere that they are. Under it's right by. Well, hello there, Mr. Skeleton. Did immediately see you. Good, we're sufficiently prepared. If we were to look for bone dust By that would be the right device. place you've come you've actually come this dreadful black sacrament thing it worked the might night mother here is your please Montier. yes um so it would seem well i won't waste your time i would like to arrange a contract several actually i dare say the work i'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in well centuries 
Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. You want me to kill the Emperor of Temriel? That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your um, superior. Rexus? The items. Here. Yeah. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Well, if you know how the merchants here work, then you wouldn't say that, my friend. It's the way that merchants work. Uh, the amulet that you've given me is worth, like, what? Uh... Yep, a solid thousand. Dude, I'll get like 15 from the merchant. That won't uh, even buy me a stack of toilet paper. But thanks. I appreciate the gesture. Shall we go in further? Let me look up if Volrond is a dungeon uh, that would give us anything meaningful. Good, we're back at the Dark Brotherhood. I decided against Volrond the reward, uh, which is a unique weapon and the unique uh, axe, wouldn't really okay. help us at the Good. moment. All right, so did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. Mm -hmm. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us. So we'll accept the contract? <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. Mm -hmm. And this amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Fantastic. So, time for us to get that amulet uh, assessed. And afterwards, we are going to go for a treasure hunt because that's fun and will improve our equipment and here we are huh. I 
suppose I can work with your fate. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest place. Until next time. Devon. Now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now. How is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, oh, but we can discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Can you tell me about this? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only for any service or item I can provide as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress with my regards. Good, and off we go back. Can't really go through here, so we need to go the long way back. If you're looking for conversation, I'll do that real quick. Time to go back to Astrid. Good. You're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yes, and specially made for members of the Elder Council. Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He was, and here is a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Your target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines, her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give the City of Solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. Good, very good. So, we are... Going to hunt some equipment now, and as such, I will start crafting some of my potions because we need definitely a few more health uh, potions if we go to Saltstein because that will be our next target, and we gotta get rid of some of our equipment. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a sec. Well, we will venture on though, let's. Upgrade the character real quick. Did some stuff in between. So, what do we, did we want to do? Oh yeah, alchemy 50. Now that that is done, I think we wanted to upgrade dexterity to 35 
I'll even spend a couple of craters for that. And we'll do one hand a bit later. So this should give us a substantial level up. Some health, yes please. Some stamina, yes please. I guess we soon will need the extra stamina. So, let's start with dexterity. We wanted uh, precise strikes. Next upgrade here would be 70. And we wanted to have a Kimbo attacks. That's really the setup for two weapons. Alchemy 50. Poisons are 15% better. The ones that we do have, I will still use them and we'll get the uh, resources in the meantime. Just for additional, uh, for additional poisons. For now we're fine. This here will give us an immediate benefit as well due to the higher up alchemy. We now have a poison multiplier by two, which is good. So twice the amount of poison ticks that we do have per poison used. Alchemy looks solid, dexterity looks solid. I am wondering if we actually could go and pull off a dual hand as it stands. A lot of attacks but I am not running the mod that allows you to dual wield blocks so the moment that we are in the attack animation that uh, would mean we are continuously in that attack animation it's not the longest one but it could be dangerous not 100% sure. We do have we do have the weapons and we could pull it off. I mean, the damage is likely going to be much, much higher. And we're proccing four poisons. One, two, three, four. That's a lot of poison procs right there. But we're going down in armor. We are down to 310. I think we will need to upgrade the armor... Uh, next, I do have the idea uh, to go and search for armor, so let's do that right away. And we would have a weapon upgrade as well, but that's going to be a dangerous ride. I'll think about it. Good, so we find ourselves in front of Anselvond. A bit of a different uh, plan, change of plans actually. I went uh, to find the treasure of... Uh, Hull, um, Captain Hallengard in Solstein but unfortunately that quest is simply not available besides Solstein uh, is quite high level so we had to be <clears throat> careful anyways now since we're in front of Alswund <clears throat> I'm going to try to get the ghost blade here which is a nice little one-hander uh, strict upgrade to what we're doing or what we're having so let's see how well that goes Okay, so I haven't played in a while. In between last time I recorded in this one, there had been a quite a bit of time, so it's not the wisest decision to go into a high-level dungeon. When you're rusty. seems our poison is not really working that well against them. 
We have fast swings. So that is working well. But our poison is not. The power attacks are good. Fast swings are good. Could even recover the steel bolt of fire. So... Let me see what else could or should we do. Shed skin for sure. The silver bolts, but I think silver bolt of fire is going to be even more useful. Gosh, we suck at sneaking. If we're being completely observed the entire time. Well, so much for sneaking. Ooh, there's a necromancer. Frost. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, well, frost magic it is. Ice Wrath Essence. that hit the Draugr well. Spectral... Spectral something. Spectral Archer, I think. Oh well. He's keeping his shield up. Oh, second one. Not sure if I can do that much against Major Armor. Gotta be really careful here. Don't want to go into a duel with necromancers. Poison is working well. I need harder bolts. Bigger, more nasty, mean bolts. Uh, orcish bolts. Good against unarmored targets. Lightly armored targets. So let's hope this is working out. Couldn't hit him there. Straight up hit. And I think a kill. She's just fighting back. What? Scroll of Mayhem? Nice. they following well I don't mind let's heal up here Dwarven Sword is certainly not the right choice so that's a mistake we gotta take the Elven Silverline Sword
Yeah, we don't want to just go into a, a straight fight against him. Okay, next stronger down. So far, we're doing reasonably well. Or is that other necromancer? Oh, right over here. Nice, filled black soul gem. Gotta repoison our sword. <clears throat> Draugr have incredibly high poison resistance. And now we do have a Draugr Archer there. Got the Silver Sword definitely definitely is preferable deals way more damage fortunately we're not really out dpsing them <clears throat> the uh, major majority of our damage typically comes from the poison and that seems to be not working at all against them <clears throat> so assuming further drogers silver bolt Yeah, let's go with classical silver bolts. Lightning mage, okay. Well, it's getting better and better. Frost, fire. Let's chuck that one here. Careful here, Saiken. Lots and lots of traps. And mages. Gosh, I hate. Oh, shoot. I am Lua Al Skaven. Who are you to disrupt my work? Be gone, or I will add you to my army of the dead. Well, you know, she makes a convincing point. Makes a very convincing point uh, right there. Oh, I'm toying with the danger here, playing with death. We are not particularly strong against lightning. I am hoping that we could get off a good shot. Is the bow or is the crossbow poisoned? No, it's not. Therein lies the problem. I want that one handed sword, but I also gotta admit, this here is scary.
If he hits us more than once, we are dead. Still trying to see if we can find someone there. To get a cheap shot on. No. I might regret this. But the guy is taking a lot of damage. I need really strong bolts. Oh, that's a steel arrow. I am stupid. Trying to load that arrow. Oh no, the Necromancer. Close one, close one, close one. <clears throat> but we're still alive. Repoisoning our weapon. All of the weapons poisoned. It's and regaining some health. Boy, that is intense. <clears throat> I think the orc bolts are the best that we can currently do. Nice, that's a great staff. Love it. Unfortunately, it won't work that well against Draugr. I think she died due to Step of Lightning Shackles. That's a good one as well. Well, now I looted her completely. That was not my intention. Don't need the dagger, but... <clears throat> Lightning shackles and ice spheres. Ice spheres are great. Not against droggers, and most certainly not against other high 
ice resist enemies, but generally speaking, really good. I wish I had another mod to keep track of the poisoning. Unfortunately, I don't, so gotta excuse me looking into it from time to time. Rise from your graves to defeat this worm! Okay, well we do have a couple of drawers that want to play with us. <laughs> no. I was dodging backwards but the stairs were not completely plain. Oh boy. The shadow of death has fallen upon you. I was pushing it. It was way too early to go into that dungeon, but I wanted the sword. Well, sometimes you can't win them all. Ron the Snake finally finds his death in a Drogarun, where he took down valiantly a few mages quite a few actually just shortly before uh, finishing it he got one shot KO'd by a power attack I thought I was at the very edge of its <clears throat> attack rate but unfortunately by pushing backwards the stairs uh, were just not a hundred percent plain that can happen dead is dead uh, we got appreciated so I don't know. I mean, sometimes uh, I fail. I will upload it uh, nonetheless. The way that I would go about the Diaries of Death is those who are unsuccessful in this case, uh, getting uh, to the top of uh, the Dark Brotherhood, or quests that I will do with other characters in the future. Um, and once we're done with most of the tier one uh, content, we might revisit a few of the successful characters. The poison build overall worked well. I never really made it to the stage of dual wielding. I, I tried a little bit um, off screen, just how dual wielding would work. And I must say without the blocking, it leaves you open for a lot of attacks. That, that winner is just quite large. And I would have also needed uh, to uh, to go further into the actual uh, quest uh, line of our goddess so that we can get rid of the poison resistance of Draugrs and so on. Uh, there is actually a Daedric quest uh, to do it, but that's even further down uh, the line. I still hope that Ron the Snake and uh, Mephila's build uh, had inspired you to maybe pick up a similar build yourself. If anything, I wish you a great uh, day and uh, rest in peace. Thumbs up for Ron the Snake. Take care, guys. This Diary of Death is closed. Bye-bye.